So this last year I've employed Craig. Uh, Craig Beecham has been my sous chef for the last four years and I've now promoted him up to head chef. Um, he was ready for his own move really and wanted his own place but position wise there wasn't anything really that I thought was good enough for him. You know he really needed somewhere uh, to take him forward. So we took the option really to promote him here and myself taking not so much a back seat but more a, a promotional role, uh, being out front a lot more, speaking to the customers, something that I've never really been comfortable with but going out there now and uh, engaging with my guests I suppose which I think is very important. Uh, customers come here for the Simon Halston experience as such and they don't get to see me. So that's got me more into that. I do a few more demos now, uh, get to work with my uh, supplier partners such as Electrolux and um, it just gives Craig that position that he wanted but also somewhere he's comfortable in because he's been here for four years. I think for us growing all the vegetables at the farm was a way that we had to move forward. Um, we're not London so we can't charge the prices that other other restaurants are charging for, for similar food. You know, I think we're up there with some of the best restaurants in the country. You know, we've been recognised for that, but we can't charge the prices. We're in Torquay, we're, we're very realistic on that. The option was taken to start looking at growing some stuff or start losing staff. And we, we took that option of growing it. And ultimately, I think in the last two years, we've noticed a major change in our p and uh, Definitely last year, I think we, we looked around about 40,000 we'd saved uh, just on produce what we were buying in. Uh, it doesn't take into account, obviously, we, we had to buy polytunnels, we've got land, we've got farmers up there, etc. But produce that we've actually bought in, I think we saved about 40,000. The, the food I'm doing at the moment is pretty, I would say, it was very simple. Um, probably the simplest I've ever served food here at the Elephant. Uh, I like the cleaner flavours of it. I've sort of moved away from trying to show off with cooking more than just giving what I enjoy and what the customers seem to be feeding back what they enjoy as well. With the uh, influx of competition themed TV programs of chefs, everybody wants to be a chef. They also can buy all the best ingredients that we can buy from the big supermarkets. Uh, chefs are promoting ingredients that we always kept secret ourselves so they can now go out and buy. People can cook at home so we're constantly looking for new things to do uh, to get people out. You know we've not got a massive PR budget I have to do that PR for myself so I get out there I you know get on Twitter I get on Facebook I push myself um, I promote the team as much as I can as well. It's not just about me, it's, it's the elephant. I'm just leading from the front uh, and I've got to be out there and do that. I've got to be able to speak to the customer. I've got to be able to respond to reviews sensibly on TripAdvisor. Uh, respond to emails. Um, you know, people are coming to the restaurant to see me, to work with me, and I've got to put on a professional persona. You know, it's, it's a business. And um, Simon Hallstone is almost a brand for the elephant, you know, the elephant is Simon Allstone, Simon Allstone is the elephant, it's, it's, that's how it works and then I've just got to keep it moving forward.